Welcome back, I'm Rob Lang and this is my game Clomper. You live inside a mechanical ladybird called a Clomper, which you can control by laying pipes to power machines with steam. The outside world is a hellscape you explore from inside the Clomper, picking up resources and completing quests. In this video, I'm going to explain the multiplayer synchronization issues I've had and how I solve them. For multiplayer, I'm using Photon Pun 2, which is free on a small scale, but you pay if your game does well. There are other great tutorials on using it, linked in the description. Most of the advice boils down to this question. Who is in control of a game object? In this scene, we have two green pill players. We'll keep player A on the left still, so that we can see what's going on. Every so often you can see that player B on the right is stuck in player A's window. Let's pause to explain what we want to happen. When player B moves, we want the position and rotation to be synchronized to player A. Player A then moves the green pill that represents player B to the new position with a little bit of smoothing. It doesn't need to be perfect here. Clomper isn't a fast paced FPS, so lag isn't a big deal. Let's restart the setup but this time we're going to put player A in the Unity editor so we can look at player B's game object. When player B is spawned by Photon, it uses the same prefab as player A. Each player has a rigid body attached to it, and that is the problem. By adding a rigid body, I'm telling Unity that the physics system has to control the game object. But I don't want player A's client to add physics to player B. I want it to follow what the multiplayer code is telling it. The solution is to have the player prefab code remove the rigid body for any player that isn't the local one. Photon pun component has the is mine property to tell us when this is the case. You can see that I'm also removing the camera, audio listener and so on. This ensures that for all the other players in the scene it is the multiplayer code that is in control, not the local physics engine. The more you send over the network, the more chance you have for desync. So you should aim to minimize what is sent. One way I got this wrong is with animators. The original build of the claw had separate animators for each of the claw arms. I used remote procedure calls to open and close them. This became very complicated, so I switched over to using a photon animator view to synchronize the state but each arm would need to be synchronized and that was wasteful as the claw arms always move together. I rebuilt the animations so there was just one animator on the claw rather than one on each arm. Synchronizing one thing reduces the network load and reduces the chance of desync. While testing, I discovered this fun bug. Stand on a piece of scrap and pick it up. My custom player controller will detect that you're standing on something and let you move, pulling the scrap with you. Fixing it was easy enough. Before moving, add a check to see if you're holding what you're standing on and then don't move if you are. After a month of testing, I have a game that's pretty stable. Next up is more testing and performance chasing, starting on my son's lower spec computer. Thanks for all your patience everyone. Your care and support has been wonderful. Until next time, take good care of yourself. Bye bye.